and it's lights out and away we go lights out and away we go for the final time here in season number one so from p8 and p10 on the grid uh, yeah. We might have ourselves an interesting race here this afternoon. So uh, with Pierre Gasly, we've opted to go soft, hard, medium. And with Esteban Ocon, we're going to go medium, hard. So kind of splitting this... Oh, not kind of. We're literally splitting the strategies. Uh, one driver goes one way. The other driver goes that you know, the other way. You can tell it's a little bit late. I'm a little bit tired. So hopefully my words aren't too fucked up. But uh, yeah, I mean, the, the driver's championship has already been locked up. That goes to Charles Leclerc. Uh, here in 2023, but uh, there's still, I mean, everything happening in the Constructors' Championship from from basically P6 uh, on down, so we'll see how that goes as well. So it looks like everybody has survived the start. Unfortunately, Nico Hulkenberg uh, has overtaken Pierre Gasly, but, uh, I mean, we got a long race, 58 laps. Hopefully we can, we can see ourselves going forwards and uh, get this race done before I pass out of exhaustion. And that's 10th place and up into the points. And Lance Stroll makes the overtake. Should be more to come from the, uh, from the Red Bull man in 2024 as Ocon and Gasly swap back and forth. And there, the cars make contact. I imagine their confidence will have taken a knock. Well, the first of two pit stops here for Pierre Gasly onto a set of meat, or actually hard compound tires, rather, uh, before finishing on a set of medium. So Magnussen also followed us in, but thankfully no hold there for the Dane, or at least a hold for ourselves uh, when it comes to the Dane. So he will reemerge in position number 16 behind Oscar Piastri. So Hulkenberg's already pitted. Same goes for, for Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll uh, as they go ahead and put the pressure on S1 Ocon. Also, I should mention Leclerc's already pitted as well. Uh, but either way, now out in P16, now we await uh, S1 Ocon's first pit stop here in this race. The opportunity's there. B racer, what are you doing? And while all that was happening, the crew in the garage could do nothing but watch on. The gap opens up for them. The points in touching distance now. Well, there you go, Carlos Sainz on the on the recovery path, trying to get himself back up into this race. But meanwhile, uh, Espan Ocon's first pit stop, first and only pit stop of this race, okay. and I guess also final pit stop of the season, uh, is underway and has been completed. So Esteban will reemerge in P13, right behind Valtteri Bottas. Uh, I think we're the only ones, at least of, of those, um, around us going to the end. I think everybody, more or less, Carlos Sainz might try to stretch to the end of this race. Same goes for, like, Pierre Gasly, although, uh, no, of course, we're not going to the end with Pierre Gasly. But I think Sainz might, but I think besides that, we're the only people uh, going to the end on our particular strategy. So, so hopefully, we can get ahead of Valtteri Bottas here and, um, yeah, not waste too much time here behind the fin. The opportunity begging to be taken. Very heavy on the brakes, and they ended up their own passenger. And the Williams goes past. And the car just locks. Just unable to control the car by that point. Is the final pit stop of the season, at least for ourselves, and then at least the, the projected final pit stop. Who knows, maybe there'll be a safety car uh, at the end of the race. I know the game occasionally likes to throw those out, but uh, for the moment, it looks like it's going to be a pretty quiet end to this season. So it is going to be a close fight with K-Mag uh, here at the pit exit. However, I believe Gasly will actually come out ahead. So surprisingly enough, uh, coming out ahead of the Dane, who's on a set of hards. Uh, and going to the end of this race. So I'm not quite sure what everybody else is doing. Obviously, Esteban uh, is projected to go to the end of this race. No but uh, in terms of everybody in front of us, I'm not quite sure. I think Stroll is probably going to have to pit. Hulkenberg mm, is probably going to have to pit as well. Science, I'm not quite sure. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Sniff. 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 Oh, around the outside. Are you, are you mad? Are you messing me? What the fuck fam? Well, there goes Pierre Gasly up into P10, again. Oh, oh, I saw yellow flags, I was like, oh no. 
Well, it wasn't the fairy tale walk-off ending that I'm sure Max Verstappen would have liked, but at least an admirable fight to the end here, as uh, it looks like he'll have to settle uh, for P2 here in 2023. Verstappen caps off the season uh, as your race winner here in Abu Dhabi, but Charles Leclerc officially uh, becomes your world champion of 2023. Over the finish line and today's winner. And Verstappen finishes first. Without doubt, a stellar performance. Something that'll be seen as a real highlight this season. Yeah, I'm sure not the highlight they would have wanted. But either way, Verstappen wins. Leclerc comes home P2 and, like I said, becomes uh, officially the champion of 2023. Lewis Hamilton uh, will end the season as uh, a podium finisher. Congratulations to him as three different constructors uh, on the the top three positions. So good race from them. Sergio Perez led the points early on in the season. Unfortunately, things didn't quite go his way uh, after the summer break. Really, after Monza and uh, he'll have to settle with P4 today and P3 in the championship. Russell's P5, Alonso's P6, Lance Stroll will cross the line in P7, Carlos Sainz, sure disappointing end to his uh, 2023 campaign. He will cross the line in P8. Nico Hulkenberg, uh, admittedly quite a ways back, will come home P9, but I want to focus on this. Esmon Ocon has one more corner to go. Please just come home P11. I think we've got it. I think we'll be okay. So either way, uh, Hulkenberg, like I said, will cross the line in P9. Pierre Gasly actually will hold on even with the older spec for our uh, underfloor, and it will come home in P10. A great way to end off the season here with Pierre, and uh, we'll see what the future holds here for the Frenchman uh, as he rounds the final corner. Espen Ocon will, in fact, hold on uh, for P11 ahead of Logan Sargent and Kevin Magnussen. Uh, overall, I think this was about as good as we could have done, and uh, I'm pretty content with how 2023 is coming to an end. So there's season one in the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hopefully will see you for season number two. Yuki Tsunoda makes his way back after the events of that race. Yep, and with a P19 finish, they'll need to pick themselves up after that. And no doubt, the Stappen fans will be celebrating the Dutchman's achievements. That's their ninth win of the season. I expect them to be showered with plaudits and more. Hard to believe that's another one over. The season's ended, the party's just beginning, here in Abu Dhabi.